My name is Jiang Sheng J. This video introduces a new type of wind turbine I have invented. The following segment showcases a small-scale demonstration model of my invention. Although I host political commentary programs on YouTube, I am also an enthusiast of inventions, particularly in the field of science and technology. This new type of wind turbine is my latest invention. What are the advantages of this innovative wind turbine? Let me give you a brief introduction. The newly conceived wind bag wind turbine that I have invented features a remarkably simple design and low production costs, potentially revolutionizing wind power generation. Conventional blade-type wind turbines are complex in structure, costly, and ineffective in low wind speed areas. In contrast, the new wind bag wind turbine is simple in design, cost-effective, and capable of generating electricity even in low wind speed areas. The wind bag wind turbine is so simple that enthusiasts in wind power generation can construct it using basic materials. The blades of conventional blade type wind turbines have complex shapes and are difficult for individuals to make. Wind power enthusiasts buy off the shelf blade wind turbine kits, assemble and install them in their yards. The construction of the wind bag wind turbine is so simple that individuals can make it easily. For the making of a wind bag wind turbine, see the video dedicated to it. The primary application of this new concept wind turbine is for industrial electricity generation. This is an illustration of a large-scale wind bag wind turbine for industrial electricity generation. Here, I explain the working principle of my newly invented wind bag wind turbine. Its operation is quite simple, one side of the wind bag is automatically inflated by the wind, open, while the other side is deflated by the wind, closed, generating a torque that rotates the turbine and drives the generator to produce electricity. Here is a photo showing the wind bag in the open state, where one side of the wind bag inflates due to the wind, increasing its wind catching area. Here is a photo showing the wind bag in the closed state, where the other side of the wind bag deflates due to the wind, reducing its wind catching area. The difference in wind force between the two sides generates torque, causing the turbine to rotate in the generator to produce electricity. The small-scale prototype of the wind bag wind turbine shown in the previous video spins fast, making it difficult to observe the movement of the wind bag. This video features a simple wind bag wind turbine made from a bicycle wheel, spinning at a slower speed, making it easier to observe the movement of the wind bag. Now, let's discuss the characteristics and advantages of my newly invented wind bag wind turbine. The greatest advantage of the new concept wind bag wind turbine is its ability to address the high cost issue of conventional blade type wind turbines. Despite significant advancements in wind power generation worldwide, further expansion faces a bottleneck due to the high costs associated with current technology. The key bottleneck is the high cost of wind power generation, which is approximately four times higher than that of thermal power generation. To achieve widespread adoption of wind power, it is essential to reduce these costs. The wind bag wind turbine that I have invented features an extremely simple structure and low manufacturing costs, making it possible to generate electricity even in low wind speed areas. This innovation has the potential to significantly reduce the cost of wind power generation, enabling it to become economically viable without government subsidies, and a truly practical green energy technology. Wind is free, so wind power generation should ideally be inexpensive. However, conventional blade-type wind turbines are costly for several reasons. 
Firstly, the complex structure and high manufacturing costs of conventional blade-type wind turbines are primarily due to their blades, blade pitch adjustment mechanisms, brake systems, and wind direction tracking systems. The blades of large-scale blade-type wind turbines are made of fiberglass and weigh up to 10 tons, making them costly to produce. Large-scale blade-type wind turbines require a blade pitch adjustment mechanism to vary the angle of attack based on wind speed, which complicates their structure and increases costs. Large-scale blade-type wind turbines also require a brake system to stop the blades during strong winds, protecting the turbine from damage. Failure of the brake system can result in blade breakage or generator fires. Additionally, large-scale blade-type wind turbines require wind direction tracking systems to adjust the orientation of the blades towards the wind direction, improving the efficiency of wind energy utilization. However, this also adds complexity and cost to the turbine. The second reason for the high cost of conventional blade-type wind turbines is the high cost of transporting and installing them. Transporting and installing large-scale blade-type wind turbines is expensive because their blades are non-removable and require specialized equipment and infrastructure. Furthermore, the installation of conventional blade-type wind turbines is limited to areas with large roads. In areas with poor road conditions, installing blade-type wind turbines requires costly road construction. In addition to these factors, conventional blade-type wind turbines have other disadvantages. Low wind energy utilization efficiency, they cannot generate electricity during low wind speeds. High noise levels, the operational noise of blade-type wind turbines is often likened to that of a small jet engine. Potential harm to wildlife, incidents of birds and bats being killed by blade-type wind turbines are not uncommon. Let's now compare the manufacturing costs of conventional blade-type wind turbines with those of the new wind bag wind turbine. The blades of blade-type wind turbines are made of fiberglass and are costly to produce. In contrast, the wind bag wind turbine uses nylon fabric for its wind bags, significantly reducing manufacturing costs. Blade-type wind turbines require blade pitch adjustment mechanisms, increasing manufacturing costs. The windbag wind turbine does not require blade pitch adjustment mechanisms, reducing manufacturing costs. Blade-type wind turbines require brake systems, increasing manufacturing costs. The windbag wind turbine does not require brake systems, reducing manufacturing costs. Blade-type wind turbines require wind direction tracking systems, increasing manufacturing costs. The windbag wind turbine does not require wind direction tracking systems, reducing manufacturing costs. In summary, the manufacturing costs of the wind bag wind turbine are only 10% to 20% of those of blade type wind turbines. Let's also compare the transportation and installation costs of blade type wind turbines with those of the wind bag wind turbine. The blades of blade type wind turbines are tens of meters long and weigh tens of tons. Transporting and installing them is complex and costly. The wind bags and frames of the wind bag wind turbine can be pre-folded and disassembled for transport and then assembled on-site, simplifying transportation and lowering costs. In summary, the transportation and installation costs of the wind bag wind turbine are only 10% to 20% of those of blade type wind turbines. Let's also compare the installation area restrictions of blade type wind turbines with those of the wind bag wind turbine. Blade-type wind turbines require large roads for transporting their long and heavy blades and can only be installed near such roads. The wind bags and frames of the wind bag wind turbine can be folded and disassembled for transport, making them easier to install in areas without large roads. In summary, the installation area restrictions of the wind bag wind turbine are smaller than those of blade-type wind turbines. The wind bag wind turbine offers several other advantages over blade-type wind turbines. Firstly, the wind bag wind turbine has higher wind energy utilization efficiency and can generate electricity even at low wind speeds. Secondly, the operational noise of the wind bag wind turbine is lower compared to blade type wind turbines. Thirdly, the wind bag wind turbine poses less risk to wildlife during operation compared to blade type wind turbines. In conclusion, compared to conventional blade type wind turbines, the new wind bag wind turbine offers significant cost and performance advantages. Furthermore, the construction of the wind bag wind turbine is similar to that of a tower crane, leveraging existing technology to further reduce manufacturing costs. 
In summary, my invention of the new concept windbag wind turbine offers numerous advantages and promising applications. The manufacturing cost of the windbag wind turbine is only 10% to 20% of that of blade type wind turbines. The structure of the windbag wind turbine is extremely simple, reducing both manufacturing and maintenance costs. The transportation and installation costs of the windbag wind turbine are only 10% to 20% of those of blade type wind turbines. The construction of the windbag wind turbine allows for pre-assembly and disassembly, expanding the application areas of wind power generation. The windbag wind turbine has high wind energy utilization efficiency and can generate electricity even in low wind speed areas. The windbag wind turbine has minimal environmental impact, with low noise levels and reduced harm to wildlife. This video program provides a brief initial introduction to my newly invented wind turbine. In the future, I will provide detailed explanations and descriptions of this new type of wind turbine. I hope you will like and share this video. Moreover, I welcome individuals or companies interested in this new type of wind turbine to start a business relationship with me. If you are interested, please leave a comment below this video. Thank you once again.